Hi all. Welcome to PHP application deployment using Ansible demo. In this video, we are going to demonstrate the deployment of PHP applications using the Ansible configuration management tool on three different operating systems, CentOS, Red Hat based, Ubuntu, Debian based, and Windows. The complete process is orchestrated through the Jenkins pipeline. The tools which are used in this PHP application deployment are GitLab for source code management, Jenkins for continuous integration, SonarCube for code quality checks, JFrog for artifactory management, Ansible for configuration management and continuous deployment, Terraform to provision the servers on OpenStack, OpenStack as private cloud. Let's explore the workflow of PHP application deployment stage by stage. In the first stage, we will provision three virtual machines on OpenStack, CentOS, Ubuntu, and Windows, using Terraform. A Jenkins job is written, to pull the Terraform code from GitLab, execute it against OpenStack, to provision three virtual machines, and add DNS entry for those three machines. In the next stage, Jenkins job will pull the PHP application source code from GitLab. A webhook is configured on GitLab, so that, the ongoing deployment job will trigger automatically when a commit happens on a particular branch. In the next stage, the PHP application source code will be built, either in Jenkins master or slaves, based on the target operating system. In case, any failures in the build step, pipeline will be aborted. The deployment package will be archived on Jenkins for future use. In this next stage, Jenkins uses the SonarCube scanner plugin, for continuous inspection of code quality to perform automatic reviews with static analysis of code to detect bugs, code smells, and security vulnerabilities. SonarCube offers reports on duplicated code, coding standards, unit tests, code coverage, code complexity, comments, bugs, and security vulnerabilities. When the code doesn't meet the quality standards, an alert mail will be triggered to the development team, and the pipeline will be aborted. Once the code meets the quality standard, the archived PHP application package will be pushed to the JFrog Artifactory repository. In the final stage, Jenkins will execute the Ansible playbook in the Ansible controller, which will perform the below tasks on the target server. Download and install PHP. Download, install and configure Apache. Download, install and configure MySQL server. Pull the PHP package from JFrog and unzip the package and start Apache service. Finally, the PHP application will be deployed into all three servers. Let's see the pipeline in action. First, we will create three servers. We have a separate Jenkins job for creating the servers. This job will create three servers in the OpenStack. Let's trigger the job. The job has been completed now. Let us check the OpenStack. Here we can see all three servers were created. CentOS, Ubuntu, and Windows. Let's browse the servers on PHP port, to see whether the PHP application is hosted on these three servers, one by one. This is the PHP application web page of the CentOS server. This is the PHP application web page of the Ubuntu server. Finally, this is a PHP application web page of the Windows server. So, all three web pages don't contain any content, as the code deployment was not triggered yet. Now, let us see how the continuous integration and continuous deployment of the PHP application happen via the Jenkins pipeline. Let us trigger the Jenkins pipeline for PHP application deployment. In, In the first stage, the Jenkins pipeline job is preparing the servers for Ansible execution adding all the servers as nodes to the Ansible controller and then verifying all the servers added to Ansible controller using Ansible ad hoc command. In the next stage, the Jenkins pipeline job is pulling the source code from GitLab, and in the next stage, it will build the PHP source code, either in Jenkins master or slaves, based on the target operating system. In the next stage, SonarCube analysis is getting executed, and it is validated against the quality gate. As the quality gate is passed, the Jenkins pipeline is pushing the built binary package to JFrog Artifactory. In the final stage of deployment, 
The Jenkins Pipeline job will execute an ISPL playbook on Ansible controller. As the playbook, it is installing PHP, installing and configuring Apache and MySQL server pulling the package from JFrog, and deploying that package in the server. Now, the deployment has been completed. Let us refresh the web pages, to see whether the PHP application is deployed, and hosted on all the servers. We can view the PHP web page for CentOS server. Ubuntu server and Windows Server. Let us see the continuous integration and continuous deployment in action. As a developer, let me make a visible change in the source code via GitLab UI and see how the changes are automatically deployed into the servers. Here, I am changing the heading in the application, which should be visible in the application after the automated deployment. Let's commit the changes. Let's see Jenkins. Here the pipeline job has been triggered automatically via a webhook, as the administrator user. The pipeline is getting completed. Now the changes should be deployed on all three servers. Let us refresh the web pages. For the CentOS server, here we can see the updated web page. And for the Ubuntu server, this is the updated web page. And finally, for the Windows server, this is the updated web page. This is the complete workflow PHP application deployment, using Ansible on the various OS platforms. For more information, please browse www.zippyops.com. Please follow us on social media, links are available in the description. Like, share, and comment on this video. Subscribe to our channel, for the latest happenings on DevOps. Thank you for watching this video.